NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Cuppy. Everyone has a moment. <laughs> Stop showing off. <laughs> Today we meet our newest Everyone Has a Story contest winner. Bill Leahy wrote in to tell us about his brother Pat's amazing achievements despite having lost his vision. We're going to meet everybody in a moment, but first let's listen to what Bill had to say about his brother. In December of 1973, my brother Pat was born prematurely. Doctors were doubtful he would survive, but he fought really hard and made it. Pat was born with Lieber's congenital amaurosis, a rare genetic eye disease which causes limited vision that progressively decreases over time. Because Pat was born legally blind, with only 4% of his vision, doctors said he would not lead anywhere near a normal life. But in what would become a pattern, Pat defied the odds. At age 7, Pat boldly announced that he would join the local community swim team. In middle school, Pat placed second in Maryland State Gymnastics. He was a high school varsity wrestler and a Division I wrestler in college. At age 28, while living in Washington, D.C., and pursuing a career in public policy, he lost most of the remaining vision he had. True to his nature, rather than accept defeat, Pat threw himself into life. Professionally, he made worthy contributions working for members of Congress, a cabinet secretary, and eventually an agency charged with ensuring voting access for all eligible Americans. Meanwhile, Pat and his guide dog, Galahad, had also become regular fixtures at Washington Sports Club, with his vision gone, Pat was driven to work out even more vigorously and started training with WSC coaches to become an amateur bodybuilder. This spring, Pat competed against 35 men and won three awards at the Organization of Competitive Bodybuilders Atlantic Super Show. It takes strength, courage, and dedication to compete in bodybuilding. It takes an extraordinary person to compete blind. Now Pat is producing a documentary on his life and bodybuilding endeavor entitled Blind Lifter to inspire kids with disabilities to go after their dreams. So oh, wow, love. Bill and Pat are here with their parents, Bill and Kay. What an extraordinary family you all are, because mm -hmm. it does take a family to bind together to get to, to meet these challenges mm -hmm. in life. How important has your family been to you living mm -hmm. the kind of life that you live now, hon? That was the, the main thing I wanted to, to talk about here today. I'm here because of my family. Mm. And, and my friends and it extends further out too. Um, all the people I've met over the years and coaches and and people at like at my gym Washington Sports Club I mean it just you know this family my brother my parents have always been there for me. And Sir Galahad yeah. we love your pooch. <laughs> and, he's great. And, and my guide dogs have been there and, and uh, you know they're my family is the one showing up at graduation at Guiding Eyes for the Blind when I graduate, you know, wow. when, when the dogs graduate. So it's, it's just been a team effort, you know. Bill, when you talk about your brother, did it surprise you just how accomplished he is? Or was it something that you, you expected, knowing his personality? It was something I expected. Did you? Especially the more I kept reading, I was like, wow, he did that? <laughs> <laughs> did it make you wonder what you're doing with your life? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> As parents. He's the slouch in the family. <laughs> As parents, it must have been difficult, I guess, you know, when he was when he was younger. How did you overcome those difficulties as parents when it came to your son? I think mainly we just thought, well, here's what we need to deal with and let's go forward and make Pat be able to be all he can be. Uh -huh. And uh, There had to be some fear involved, though, on your end. Oh. It's a natural right. parental instinct is to protect your child. What was I, it like for you as a I, father to say, I, dive into that water, I, son? I, I, I would say that we, one of our themes in our household was we'll always do our very best. Huh. We'll give it our best shot, and that's all we can do. Huh. And we've always been proud of Pat. We never pushed him to do anything. He was the, one, the leader. He was the one. Often he led us and said, I want to do this, I want to do that. And we would say, you sure? And were you ever you were afraid sometimes though that maybe he shouldn't? Well, his mom, I think, was more afraid. Yeah. I was more more thinking, let's let's wow. go, Pat. Let's let's go for well, it. We also knew it would bring him great joy to accomplish these things. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, this <laughs> time's coming up. We're gonna we have a great song for you, for your family to hear. A special song written just for you, Pat, and it's going to be performed by Broadway's Jeremy Hayes. Mm -hmm. I think you're gonna like it a whole lot. Right after this. We're back with the Leahy family, including Pat, our Everyone Has a Story winner. David Friedman and I wrote a song just for you, my friend. It's called An Extraordinary Life. And here to sing it is Broadway performer Jeremy Hayes. Sometimes when a child 
child is born long before it's due. The doctors tell the parents there's little hope for you. Your child will never live an ordinary life. In my case, they were right, for I went on to live an extraordinary life. Something about the will to live, the experts can't explain. Something about the human heart defies all reason and pain. Something about the will to survive surpasses all the science. Something about a miracle when partnered with human defiance. I am one of those miracles who refuse to give up the fight. I stood my ground till they came around and had to admit I was right. Determined to grow. There's something about the joy that I find with all of the children I teach. I tell them all to never give up, for there is no goal you can't reach. I am one of those miracles who refuse to give up. gift for Pat, but first, this is today on NBC. Something about the will to live, the experts can't explain. Something about the human heart defies all reason and pain. Everyone has a moment. Today we are honoring such a special mm -hmm. man, Pat Leahy, who's here with his brother and his parents. Also Broadway excellente performer, Jeremy <laughs> Hayes. Nice job. Just sang for us. You would never know this man almost had to cancel because yeah. he was seriously sick. He's awesome. <laughs> Composer David Friedman along with Davey Wilde over there. And, and also... Yeah, Pat's extended family's with us, too. Bill's wife, Tara, their two kids, Emily and Brendan. And Emily Hi. we're going to see on Broadway someday. I yes, have a we feeling. are. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we do. First of all, did you enjoy your song? The song was great. The words were perfect, and I especially like the part about not giving up. I mean, I'm, I'm working on a documentary right now, and I totally get it. You know, just got to keep pushing and, and get it done. You know, and the name of done. your documentary again? It's huh? called Blind Lifter, and I'm lucky enough to work with a, a great director named Janner Stewart, and uh, Glenn Elliott is, is working with this as well, and I just have a great team in place. Oh, and sound it like, just sounds like, like you're, you're planning your uh, acceptance speech at the end. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> and save it, all right? <laughs> We're going to get it done. We're of course, really well, we well. have no question you're going to get it done. And, uh, and hoping uh, to help a lot of kids with disabilities get involved. I'm sure awesome. we want to give you a little something. Oh, we thought it'd be you. kind of he fun. He says dumbbells. In, <laughs> on, in honor of all your accomplishments, your brother mentioned it's difficult for you to vacation. So the Radisson uh, Aruba Resort Casino and Spa has donated a weekend for two, a getaway weekend in Aruba. It includes airfare, daily breakfast, spa treatments. You can do water sports. So it's actually anyway. for three, so Sir Galahad well, can go too. Well, Galahad definitely yeah. Yeah. So you get to pick. I think your brother wants to go, but it's, it's up to you, really. Listen, you're a beautiful you family. Really inspire us all. It's yeah. just a great, Thank great story. Thank you for coming God to see you. us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All righty. What are we going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we are going to milk a goat. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Just One of Hoda's ex-boyfriends is going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that 
was just mean, wasn't I'm it? I'm not continuing. To find out what pranking your kids could do, be doing to them, all right? She's really not. And we're spicing up dinner with Chef Daisy Martinez. Have a great uh, Thursday, guys. Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a bye good one. You guys, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm old.